smartphone. Now to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 still worth it in 2020 or the later part of 2020? What I will tell you is, is that, you know, there's some pros and there's some cons of this device. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But I'm not expecting this phone to be perfect. I'm just expecting this phone to be good or a good value per dollar. And I think when you factor in the cost, it's $250 or something like that on Amazon, you can probably get it cheaper on eBay. That's not a bad price to pay for this type of hardware of this phone. I mean, when you pick up this phone and you feel it, you can still feel the premiumness of this device. It doesn't feel like a cheap phone at all. And there's a lot of budget phones that came out this year, including the Note 20, which isn't a budget phone, but that phone feels cheaper than this one because of that plastic back on the Note 20. And this phone feels and looks and just, you know, just feels and screams premiumness to me. That is a huge asset of this device. And when you have a phone, you know, that, you know, feels this good, it's definitely going to make you feel better about owning it. But definitely when it comes down to the battery life, it's not great. It's barely good in my opinion. When it comes down to the overall performance, it's not that great either, like I said before. When it comes down to the camera, it's just very, very average, I would say. It's not anything I would brag about, but I think it's better than a lot of phones that came out in 2017. But you can't do 4K at 60, no 4K on the front camera as well, so that's pretty dated already. And the battery life just isn't that great either, but... And when you factor all those things away, I mean, that's like 99% of the phone right there. This phone still turns on. I mean, it still has a lot of capability. You can always download a bunch of apps on here and throw a custom launcher on it and have a better experience. But I would say if you want to pick this phone up, go for it. But I would highly recommend picking up something that is still kind of supported with software. Something like a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 would be a much better deal in my opinion. That is a far better phone and that's still kind of current because it's still got One UI 2. However, One UI 3 is coming out. If you can spare some extra money, getting a Samsung Galaxy S10 would be my favorite phone to recommend to people. That's still a timeless phone and still going to be updated for a very long time from now. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys get hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else I'll, every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then